I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm all, I'm always like having like the sense of like I'm a man in the situation. I I am I'm like protective. Yeah, for sure. You always kind of have that feeling or that uh that self awareness, I guess. The Swifties and the Kardashians have been in an endless feud for years. However, recently Northwest posted a viral video that reopened old wounds and stirred up even more showbiz gossip. Do you know the details? Don't worry, we got you. Now, we all remember the feud between Kanye, Kim, and Taylor? I, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Yeah, that one. Well, if you don't, here's a quick refresher. Taylor won the Grammys. Kanye didn't let her finish her speech because he felt bad for Beyonce and was vocal about it. Then Kanye made suggestive jokes about Taylor in his song. Taylor didn't appreciate the gesture, but Kim tried to make Taylor look bad by fabricating a phone call between Kanye and Taylor, claiming that Taylor was in on it. That's not me. Okay. I, I had this line where I said, and my wife really didn't like this one because we tried to make it nicer. So I said, it's for all my South Side niggas that know me best. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. And my wife was really not with that one. Anyway, this isn't your run-of-the-mill Hollywood spat. Oh no, it's more like a soap opera on steroids because just when we thought things couldn't get any juicier, Kim pulled her daughter into the mix. Can you believe the audacity? Honey, this right here is a whole new level of messy. So Northwest, the little sass queen who happens to be a spitting image of Kim and Kanye, threw a somewhat playful shade at Taylor Swift. How, you might ask? Well, all she needed to cause a huge stir that awakened a long-time beef was a very short TikTok video of herself and her mom dancing to Taylor's Shake It Off. The Kardashians have messed with Taylor many times, but this isn't going to be a repeat of the last Kardashian episode with the Swifties. Nah, this time Travis Kelsey is rewriting the narrative. The Kansas City chief swooped in, like the knight in shining armor that he is to defend Taylor. And might we add that this is the first time ever that Taylor's man is standing up for her in a Hollywood feud. Can I hear you say relationship goals? Travis isn't holding back at all. He is serving it hot and throwing shades around like it's confetti. Y'all, it's about to get hotter than a cruel summer day in the desert. So get ready to fan yourself because this drama is reaching peak levels of spice. Remember that music video where Taylor rocked a blue tasseled mini dress and went all out with her dance moves in a hotel lobby? You know she was barefoot and dancing her heart out without any care in the world? Well, in the now viral video, the 10-year-old and her mom accidentally, or maybe even intentionally, who knows, shared a clip of some dance moves from Taylor's music video, Delicate. Yeah, that one. Are Kim Kardashian and Northwest throwing shade to Taylor Swift on TikTok? Well, their Kim and North joint TikTok account reposted a shady video about Taylor Swift. Here's a screen recording. You can see that the video was reposted by the Kim and North account. <laughs> But the repost was quickly removed. Now, if you go on the Kim and North page, there are no reposts. It's not there anymore. But it was there at one point. I'm just hoping this was like a mistake by an intern or something like that. The page does say that it's managed by an adult, whether that's Kim Kardashian or an assistant, a nanny. We're not quite sure, but I am so ready for this feud to be over. I kind of thought when Kim and Kanye got a divorce, Kim wouldn't really care about Taylor anymore. I feel like Kanye was the root of this issue. Kim and North have also danced to Taylor Swift songs on TikTok before, but let me know your thoughts down below and follow me for more celebrity news. Now, as if the wacky dance moves weren't enough, North went a step further in her diss for Taylor with a text overlay that sassily said, so this is your favorite singer, and the caption was even worse. It said, I'm sorry, what? Welcome to another episode of Mean Girls. How can a 10-year-old be so feisty? Like, really? What's the tea, North? Before we knew it, the internet was in a frenzy faster than we could expect even in our wildest dreams. It got everyone talking. Different people from different corners of the web had different opinions on the matter. In fact, Reddit became a virtual circus. Hold on, let's not be in a hurry to jump into conclusions here. It could actually have been an accident. 
Maybe she didn't mean any harm. Just some good old TikTok fun, yeah? Anything to go viral. This narrative would be an easier pill to swallow if Kim and Taylor didn't have bad blood. Their history makes it easier to believe that Kim had been talking, or rather gossiping, about Taylor in her house, and all of that bad mouthing sort of inspired North to get creative on TikTok. Whatever the reason might have been, Northwest's bomb had us caught up in a never-ending roller coaster of reactions. Emotions from shock to amusement traveled through the virtual space, and things got really messy in the most entertaining way possible. The TikTok showdown had the vast majority throwing shades at Kim K, from bad parenting to a Taylor obsession. People kept making all kinds of diagnoses. Team Bad Parenting said things along the lines of, North is a child, so she's going to be naive and follow her parents. But Kanye and Kim are both sore losers at this point. While Team Obsession fought back, saying, Y'all are 40? Grow up and let this woman have the success that y'all tried to steal from her years ago. We just really hope that North was just having fun and Kim and Kanye aren't actually spreading negativity behind closed doors. Hope you didn't think we've spilled all the tea just yet, because there's more. The Reddit warriors were out in full force on this one. They just kept throwing shades left and right. While many people agreed that North should be banned from the internet, others were actually more worried about the behind the scenes. People on Reddit couldn't help but wonder what was going on behind the scenes. I wonder how much poor North knows about the feud between her parents and Taylor, mused one fan. The truth is, this entire thing thing just makes it look more and more like Kim K is trying really hard to mess with Taylor. Why? Probably because her star is only rising, while Kim keeps becoming less and less relevant by the day. She probably hoped they could be allies, but now that they've been screwed over by Kanye, that's not likely to happen. And from Taylor's interview on the subject, it's clear that she has neither forgiven nor forgotten. And judging from North's recent and viral post, Kanye and Kim must have twisted the narrative to their daughter. No parent wants to look bad in front of their kids. Either that or North just thinks her parents were wrongfully accusers. Well, that was until Travis Kelsey entered the picture and stood up for Taylor. You might find it a little surprising, but Travis actually isn't your average football star. Nah, he's had enough showbiz drama, so he knows how these things work. The last time Taylor Swift was trapped in the ring with the Kardashians, she had to deal with everything all by herself. But not with Travis by her side. This time, everything was was different because Travis decided to step up to the plate defending Taylor wholeheartedly without any reservations, and we are totally here for it. It's good to see someone put an end to this circus once and for all. It's high time someone stood up to this shenanigans, and Travis is leading the charge. He sure isn't going anywhere without a fight. Oh, and by the way, Travis isn't playing defense in this match. He's going all out on attack, ready to rip the entire Kardashian clan to shreds if they push beyond their boundaries. Travis has actually pointed clearly to us the irony of the situation. Think about it. We've got Taylor Swift, the megastar who's been bagging Grammys year in, year out, and just wrapped a tour that won't be forgotten in history after an album jammed with hit after hit. And then there is Kim K, who soared to fame from leaked private videos and who's had more relationship drama than any soap opera you know. Travis has been emphasizing over and over that when it comes to stardom, um, Taylor is king. Really, she's the real deal. She's not just big, she is colossal. If we are making comparisons, there's no way Kim would stand a chance. Travis Kelsey's message to the K's is, you may have the fame, but when it comes to Taylor Swift, you're out of your league. Burn. That's a blow that even our very dear Kardashians won't bounce back from in a hurry. And he's not just bluffing. We all witnessed with our very eyes the huge impact Taylor was able to make in the NFL. We all witnessed how the Swifties have catapulted Travis's popularity to unimaginable heights. We were all there when Taylor's fans single-handedly added 300,000 brand new followers to Travis's IG in one day, just because of the swirling rumors of their budding romance. Oh, and remember the staggering 400% surge in NFL merchandise sales? Who did it? 
How did Travis Kelsey's jersey become one of the NFL's top five best-selling jerseys? How did StubHub get a nearly triple surge in their ticket sales for Chiefs home games in one day? Obviously, Taylor Swift is way out of their league when it comes to fame because she does these things so effortlessly. One person on X recently commented on the Taylor effect and wrote, Travis Kelsey has had a busy 24 hours, seven catches for 69 yards and a TD, gained 300,000 top social media followers, a full 400% increase in merchandise sales and top five selling jerseys in the NFL. That's the Taylor Swift effect. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West always teamed up in what seemed like tag team bullying against Taylor Swift. It was like a real life version of Mean Girls. And of course, Taylor was the girl next door standing up to the cool kids. With Kanye out of the picture, Kim's trying to keep the party going by enlisting North in the mix. With Kanye out of the picture, Kim's trying to keep the party going by enlisting North in the mix. Thankfully, the days of Taylor Swift having to defend herself against the Kardashian West powerhouse are long gone. With Travis, the no-nonsense defender of justice, on her side, no one would dare to mess with her. Watch out, Kim! You've met your match! So, what do you think? Did Travis do right by standing up for Taylor? Do you think Kim has a hand in North's TikTok post? Let us know in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to hear Taylor's confession on why she is so in love with Travis, watch this next video.